As long as we continue to try and manage our own relationship and our own power, we're also going to continue to be outgunned by life, no matter how well intended we are. And to illustrate this, I'd like to ask Darcy to come out here and join me here. Because it's so easy to, even with good intentions, get off course. And, and so what, what I want to do is, here, Darcy, I'm going to give her this pink balloon. And, and the hardest part of this analogy I want to show you is right here where we have to blow these up. All right. Let's say these balloons represent our lives. And, and we finally realize that enough's enough. We need to turn this around. And I, I, say, I say something like, you know what? I am so tired of looking at Darcy through that me lens and, and cheating her out of all the kindness and respect she deserves. And I'm not happy about what I've been doing with Tim looking at him through that prideful love if lens. I mean, he didn't sign up for that. And goodness knows God expects a whole lot better from me. And listen, I'm a semi-pro at using that pious uh, lens to drop the Bible or Jesus' name into uh, uh, the, the mix when I want to get my own way. Well, and I'm no amateur at that myself. But I'm going to change, starting right now by trying harder to do all the right things. Me too. In fact, you know what? I'm going to start reading my Bible every day. I think I'll start to journal about being a better spiritual partner for Tim. And I'm, I'm going to join the men's ministry uh, down at the church and get some of those guys to be accountable to us for being such a knucklehead. I think I'm going to try that compliment your spouse three times a day thingy that we learned about at the women's retreat. <laughs> And, and, and you know what? I'm going to buy her flowers even when I haven't done anything stupid or, or wrong. <laughs> I'll even try to not say, is that what you're wearing? When clearly, that's what you're wearing. <laughs> I can do laundry. I can do laundry. I can do laundry. I can do laundry. Wow. I think if I blur my eyes and use my imagination, I might be able to accept a monster truck rally as a date night. I mean, after all, what's important is that we're together. And listen, I'm going to take those long walks on the beach with her, even though no man in his right mind would ever want to do it. I mean, what's the point? I mean, where's our destination? We should have a mission. I wish we could maybe race somebody or at least time ourselves and see if we beat yesterday's time. But I'll do it because that's what she wants. Wow, I am really looking forward to that next walk on the beach. <laughs> Good intentions, right? Good things we want to do. But after a while, you say, what's the use? Let me try something else. There's another option. What were those balloons filled with? Yeah, air. But they were filled with our air, weren't they? They were filled with us. And, and, and until we let Christ come in and let his spirit fill us. We're, we're going to still continue to fail no matter how well intentioned and how glorious and noble our desires are. We need to let the work he did for us by setting us free at the cross become the defining factor of who we are. And when we do, everything changes. Because I know all about good intentions, good spiritual intentions, good biblical ones. But it wasn't until I realized that they're still about me that I, I realized I, I need to surrender these over to the Lord and let him have control. All right. Hey, good Darcy. Look at that. Listen, we'll never be able to enjoy ongoing grace in our, in our heart connection as long as we're trying to operate in our power. We need God's power, don't we? In the first session of our, our time together, we, we looked at uh, trump cards that have a way of outplaying our love. And in this session, we learned about three lenses that undermine our ability to enjoy intimate heart connection as a spouse. But there's one more lens I want to show to you, and that's this one here, the grace lens. Look at it. It's clear. It's pristine. And, 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 and we want to give, it's about giving our spouse something that they desperately need but don't necessarily deserve it. And until we let God's grace become the lens through which we view our spouse, all of our self-powered efforts are going to fall short.